Hey guys, welcome back to another raid video. In today's video, I want to make a video about uh, the 10x champion Withier. Actually, um, this weekend we are having a 2x sacred shot alongside with a 10x uh, Withier. Right? Withier, I think, is a really, really solid champion. Probably the best healer in the game, right? Like, I really can't think of any other healer in Rage Alliance that is better than Withier. And we're having 2x sacred with 10x withier and we're having a fusion event so we will need some points um to get the fusion fragment right so yeah in this video i guess i'm gonna pop a little bit of shots not gonna pop everything i still want to keep 15 at all times in case they're doing a guaranteed legendary event and i've seen videos from other content creators they're saying basically like it's very it's it's like highly likely that Player is going to do a guaranteed sacred event some sometime next week. So yeah, if you guys are below 15 sacreds, you should not pull. <laughs> you probably should not pull, right? If you are desperately looking to uh, looking for the fusion fragment from the champion chase tournament, maybe you can do that. But just be very careful. Pro probably just go for the 1150 and just be done with it. All right. Anyways, let's just pop some sacreds here. Alright, I'm gonna pop probably 8 or 9. Let's see what we got. It's 2x event. Let's get it. Alright. An epic. Franklin the Fat. Okay. A very solid champion. Second one. And it's another epic. Who is this? Sachi. Not quite sure about this champion. But seems like she has very good reveal. Anyways, let's keep it going. Come on, where's the lining? And another epic. Not looking good. Is that a new champion? I don't know. Let's keep it going. Give me at least one legendary. How about that? Another epic. Aina, a below average epic. Come on. Just give me one legendary. How about that? Another epic. Not looking good so far. Fold board the bard. Looking cool. A bold dwarf with AoE defense down. Cool champ. But it's not 100%, is it? Oh, it's 100%, okay. So AoE defense down champion, let's keep it going. And another epic. Like, can I just get a legendary? Basilic? The only place I use the champion is the secret room. It's the Doom Tower secret room that requires uh, epic lizardman. Something like that, All right? Let's keep it going. Come on, where's the landing? Another epic? Come on, maybe I'm, I'm gonna pop some shots until a legendary or something like that. Wuji. Okay, let's keep it going. No, another epic. Damn, I'm already at 15. Alright, time to test my self control, I guess. It's not going anywhere. Should I pull? Right, let me just pop one more. Come on. The last one I pop. And another epic. Alright, alright. It's not gonna bait me into it. All right, I'm I'm done here. Let's just do a with your showcase in this video. All right, where is our our uh, our dude with your? I do have an empowered with your because a while back, Plurm did a guarantee with your event, right? And I got the guarantee champion, and I think I also pop shards for the 10x with your. So I have a plus two with your on my account. I'm just gonna do a quick showcase of this champion. There are many many different ways of gearing this champion all right um this is just the simplest way to gear with you this build is viable across every area of the game like arena dungeons uh, even even hydra stuff like that iron twins right this is just the simplest build you're just gonna throw a regeneration set on her and she's gonna heal around 20 percent per turn and you're gonna gear her as fast as possible basically all right while maintaining a healthy hp and defense like you should uh, prioritize hp over defense i think hp is just uh, more useful on this champion and the reason that i think she uh, she is the best healer in this game is uh, a lot of other healers they can put like continuous heal but the problem of continuous heal is it requires your ally champion to take a turn to get healed but she is different because like like the healing that she can do like this instantly activate continuous heal and just heal all other 30 percent h uh, max hp like skills like this it doesn't require your ally to take a turn that's why she is so good like if you want to heal your team 
all you have to do is gear this champion fast. You don't have to gear any other champion fast, right? The other viable build you can put on this champion is first you can do a untouchable set, but untouchable set build, it's I think it's really, really hard to do. Usually, like I've seen Boomer did it, uh, did a untouchable build. Basically, it's around 300 speed with 700 resistance. I think it's really, really, really difficult that at my gear level, I can't even do that. So I just went with the easy route. Right, just the regeneration set. Also, you can put stone skin stuff like that. But anyways, let's just do a little bit of showcase. I think a couple of days ago, I made a video about my Iron Twins team. Uh, actually, on that video I made about my Iron Twins team, I did not uh, explain uh, very well. Basically, like if if you if you guys take a look at my Duchess, my Duchess is insanely slow. I right, look at look at this type of speed, and this is enough in Iron Twins. The only reason is that Withier's healing does not require my ally to take a turn. They can be just slow like my Duchess, right? And they're still gonna get uh, get healed. Also, like, uh, where is Aox here? Let me showcase my Aox. Like, Aox is also super, super slow. And not even 160, but my Aox is never gonna die from Iron Twins. The reason being is Withier. So, if you ask me if any other healer is uh, as good as... With here, probably not, but I would say like uh, Volgoth is probably close enough, right? If you put Volgoth in a um, healing set, curing set, I mean, alright, so that's basically it. Let's just do one quick Iron Twins Fortress. Alright, my team is just not fast at all. The fastest champion here is with uh, is with here, alright. Oh, by the way, I I didn't talk about. I didn't talk about his um, awakening. Maybe I'm gonna talk about it a little bit. All right. Anyways, let's just uh, finish this run first. I got the meteor on the boss. It's good. All right. Let's keep it going. And one thing about about building a team like this, if you guys want to use Aox, right, you should not bring a decreased speed champion. You don't want decreased speed on the boss, and you don't want a increased speed on your team. So you're gonna avoid uh, these two buffs, right? No decreased speed and no increased speed, because like you don't like all you have to do is just get more debuffs. You don't have to be like super fast. Look at this, super consistent. Like, best time is 55 seconds with this team. Okay, I got lucky again. Immortal Soul Essence. I got lucky again. Alright, so let's take a look at my Withier. I don't have Withier uh, Awakened, alright? But if I'm gonna pick one of these, I think there are a couple uh, interesting ones. Alright, the first one is probably Water Fallen. I think this one is good on Withier for PvP situation because this is just a straight damage decrease, right? I think it's really good because... All the other ones, probably not. Temporal Chain might be good on a speed team, but who's gonna put Withy on a speed team, right? So it doesn't make sense. So War of Fallen, that's the first one. I think it's viable for PvP. And then for PvE, also for PvP, I think Polymorph is also gonna work because uh, you're not gonna build Withy with resistance. So enemy are easily to put debuff on her, and she's gonna have a chance to just uh, put enemy to sheep debuff. And for PvE, you're gonna go with this one, Brimstone. Like this, this blessing here, I think it's the strongest one for for, uh, for PvE. It's absolutely ridiculously broken, right? If you put, like, if you have a six star Brimstone, you can basically delete the Hydra. I've seen people using like a four star Brimstone, and that champion, uh, and that champion that has a four star Brimstone did like 70 million damage on his own on Hydra. It's absolutely ridiculous this blessing in PvE, alright? So yeah, that's basically it for, um, for his champion. Let, let's do like one or two arena battle just to show you guys uh, how, he, uh, how she does in arena. Even though currently I don't use her in arena that much. Uh, alright, let's, let's not, not try a Warlord, alright? It's annoying. Warlord is annoying. Alright, so let's try this one. This is a pretty scary team. Who is this? Alright, never heard of him. 
Okay, but anyways, his roster seems strong. So let's just try to put a tanky defense. Uh, let's try to put a tanky, tanky defense here. See if we can survive this. All right, so let's put my Duchess. This is just a pure star defense that sometimes, a uh, troll team, sometimes I use uh, to, to troll people basically, right? It's gonna take them really long to take me down. Let's just go in there full auto. Let's see how long Wither can sustain me, all right? Wait, he didn't even set up his AI. Okay. Wait, that's scary. Come on, let's keep it going. I'll, I'll probably run it like two minutes. And I just quit. Because they're probably not gonna take me down, right? All right, my necro almost died. And my necro is healed. Come on, keep it going. Everybody's at full HP. Now, what blessing are they using? This is the lightning cage, right? This is the, the aura one. Okay, so, hmm. Using Kaima on lightning cage, that seems to be a very interesting option, right? Because usually lightning cage is used on damage dealers, right? Not support. Like, they are just not killing me. I don't see. I don't see the possibility of this team just um, one shot my team. I right, everybody full HP, and he removed my buffs. That's interesting. Come on. All right, so he killed my Necrit. That's good, and then my Duchess is going to revive. Alright, my Duchess did not revive because I did not set up her AI. Wow, Ursuga is still alive. Look at this. Come on. Don't die yet. Nice. Alright, heal up. Let's just heal up. That's good. And I got removed. No. Alright, come on. Let's keep it going. Super tanky. Ultra tanky. Let me run it for like 20 more seconds. I don't think they can take me down. Come on, Ursula's still alive. That's nice. Alright, my Necro died again. That's not good. Okay, so... Can I survive the next hit here? Probably I can, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna quit for now. Maybe eventually after five minutes, uh, they can still win. Uh, but anyways, this is just a Wither showcase showing you guys how tanky this champion can be. Alright, so yeah, I guess that I guess that will do it for this video. Just a quick video showing you guys the Wither, uh, whether you should pull shards for her or not. But uh, uh, I guess I just don't have the luck today. I'm not gonna pop any more shards here because I guarantee you guys the guaranteed. Sacred event is next week, all right. So, yeah, don't pull everything, all right, unless you're gonna, unless you're a big spender. So, anyways, that will do it for this video. I'll see you guys in video soon.